Hey everyone, welcome back to Suffer and Chill, I'm Kev. And I'm Lewis. Yes, we're going to be doing another review on some lightsabers today. My very good friends over at CX Sabers contacted us and said, would you like to play with some lightsabers and uh, let your wonderful audience know um, what it's like? And I was like, yep, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. What could, what would be the best one to send us? They said a few, the Dooku one, and we were like, we don't know. And then this one came out. Ooh. This is the father and son. The father and son one. Yes. The father and son. It's the, it's the joint bundle. Uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back. So I'm excited for this. I'm really mm -hmm. looking forward to it because the last few that we did, there were just like one lightsaber and we just had to kind of look at it individually. Whereas this, it comes as a, as a, as a like a jewel. Mm -hmm. So he gets one and I get one. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder which one I'm going to get. Considering there's a father and a son. No, I'm going to get but the father. Yeah. So yeah, excited to kind of get into it. Um, it hasn't been opened yet. I've just took the, like the, 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 the wrapper off, shall I say. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get rid of that top bit there, sunshine. Yep. And uh, yeah, I don't want to spill any of this. But that is the, the box. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And you can see both of the lightsabers in there. Lots nice and protected. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that um, I've noticed straight off the bat. Uh, although it seems like there's a lot of stuff which I'm, I'm looking forward Lots to getting into. of bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. So everything's nice and protected. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Right, that looks that, like... That looks like a Luke, Luke yeah. one to me. And that looks like a, a Sun one <laughs> to him. What I've noticed as well with all of them, you can tell it's like good. Because it's like not light, it's like really heavy. Oh, like the, the, like what, uh, do you mean like the weight quality of them? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, obviously, I've, this is the first one I've had from CX Sabre. I've been really looking forward to it. A lot of them, I've been looking at a lot of videos from their stuff, and I've been, because obviously I'm a fan of the Star Wars light, like, of the world. So I look at uh, the the really good lightsabers that are going at the moment, and CX Sabre always seems to be right up there at the top. So I'm excited to kind of get in here mm -hmm. and see. And, and yeah, as, as, like I mentioned, they seem, they, they seem very, like, well, well protected. Well wrapped. Yeah. Little, well, very well wrapped. Very shiny. Yeah. Very chromatic, or say that. So there's Darth's, uh, there's, Darth, is... there's Vader's, straight off the top. And this is Luke's. Okay. It's even got like a a little hook thing on the bottom. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit so you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, as you can see, oh, it's getting a lot of, it's got a lot of shiny chrome mm -hmm. coming off that bad boy. Um, yeah, I think that's one of the things I've noticed straight away. The weight. Once mm. the, it's like a weight display, like... You can tell a little, a cheap bit of plastic, uh, a cheap little bit of metal. Um, yeah, where this is, this is certainly not that. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how the how the work. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing how the batteries go in. Yeah. Um, do you want to do one at a time? Could do. So yeah. we can we'll we'll start with uh, with Luke's. You can tell like it's even got like so that that'll obviously be like the starting button. Mm -hmm. It's gonna focus. You can see like the. Yeah, the green and the red, and it's got like cool little details on it. Yeah, very nice. That looks pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna have a little quick look at the instructions and uh, get back to you in a second. Just gonna have a little quick look through here. Um, we've got two of these. I mean, obviously, we're gonna go through, see what they all are. Um, that's obviously for your USB, uh, for, for your charging to mm -hmm. get them all charged up, which is the best way to do it. Um, to, to, that's oh, yeah. Got a USB plug, so we'll, we'll figure that out as we mm -hmm. go. And your usual bad boy, we've got display stands. Yeah. So we've got two display stands, uh, one for each of them. And as usual, the you've got saber. one. And I've got one. And these are Neo Pixel. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I will put all the information with regards to the to the specs and everything on the side. Um, the same quite durable. Mm -hmm. The first thing I've noticed is um, yeah. Uh, when when we did the uh, the the mall like the the, the 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 like the double one, um, it seemed a little bit not flimsy, but it seemed a little bit like you wouldn't Loose. really want to swing it around too much. Mm. Whereas this straight off the bat, it it does have this air of like as you can see, it's, that's how brand new it is. Uh, I'm just taking the taking the rough, rubber off as we go. A, a couple of little notes, and we've got a little Allen key in there as well. The Allen key will be there. Just that there must be a part of it on there that can kind of unscrew and screw it in. But so far, I mean, everything's there. It's very easy accessible. There's not much. Um, there's nothing really kind of like 
to, to get worried about when you switch. There's other people when they first open things like this and they see all the, you know, the parts and the the, the little screws and stuff. They get a bit panicky. But no, this to me it just means that it's uh, you know, it's 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 of a very high quality. It's legit. Uh, it's legit, and it does feel like it feels like I don't know whether. I think they said that um, these are, these can be used as for, for dual for wielding as well. Instead, like so, mm. they're, they're pretty hard. So. It's not just for sure. A lot of the lightsabers that are out there, especially kind of like the expensive replica ones, uh, are, are used primarily for 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 show. Whereas I think it says there when I was talking to them, they said these are used for for actual fighting as well. Mm. So that's the that's the main thing. We'll have to have a scrap. We'll have to kick his ass. Looking at the uh, the the style and the design of it, yes, as you can see, it's the old Luke Skywalker one. And, and Lewis is definitely right. Um, it's definitely got a really kind of uh, like polished feel to it uh, i would definitely maybe use one of the things i've noticed that isn't in there that have been in the other ones is like your little white gloves that you get because any fingerprint marks or anything is going to transfer straight onto this kind of highly polished chrome but it you know the the chrome itself it's it's, a, it's it does give it an amazing look uh lewis pointed out before something uh did you not think this is going to work no so this seems like so usually you would click like this kind of yeah. golden strip to power it on but it's like this this little black rectangle here ah. so you, you would press that in i'm guessing that turns it on because nothing else really presses in like well, a button we will well we will see um just getting straight into the the kind of the battery side of things i'll move into the move into the technical side of stuff as you as as you have to um i think that the one distant difference i've noticed as well with this one to the other ones is that you could plug um you could take this out it's just a little twist um and i'll just give that to you there sunshine um and you could just plug this straight in and it will go straight into your computer, which is completely fine. This is the, the only difference being this time is that you can take out the battery. The battery pops out very, very easy. Um, and it does have its, it has its own little charging port here. Um, it just pushes up, goes into your battery, and then this plugs directly into your computer, into a USB. Uh, and it's, it's even got the mark on there to tell you that it's, if it's charging up and down, I don't know if you can actually see that. Because this this computer is weird, sorry my uh, my camera is weird. Um, it doesn't actually auto zoom. Oh, you can see it there. It'll it'll kind of show you where how like how kind of much charge it's got on it, and that's it really. Um, just unplug this, drop straight down. It'll go straight back into its little holster. Power up. So definitely the right way. Um, inside, um, as you can see there, um, it just the, the top one comes out a little bit to the bottom one. And on the inside, you can literally see where it's meant to go and it's got the directions on there. Very, very simple. There's no kind of, no worry that eventually, you know, it's going to wear out if you keep doing it the wrong way. Very, very easy done. Um, but overall, that's a very, very, very simple, very simple process mm -hmm. to, to take out and get your battery done. Um, and that's that so far. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be exactly the same with the other one. Um, uh, because in, in, in the packs, the vault, uh, it's, they've just doubled up. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm guessing it's going to be the exact, exactly the same. And we've only got one power station, which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you can only power one at a time anyway. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. Very, very simple to put this blade together. Um, click straight in. There's, there's two holes at the top. You get the screws. You've got an Allen key. You just put two and two together. And yeah, mm. that's quite simple. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Right, thank you. There you go, Sunshine. There, so there's. A, so firstly, uh, like your immediate thoughts on the weight, the height, the... Yeah. If you can see, show everybody like the length of it. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Very, very good. Very nice, yeah. It's heavy, right? Not too heavy, but it's like shows that it's legit. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, very good. Um, if you wanted to to fire it up and see what happens, right? There, there we go. Right, power on. So these two lights have come up the blue, uh, the green and red ones. Yeah. So. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you can immediately tell. Yeah. Like, I mean, the Neo Pixel light in itself jumps out, doesn't it? That is so blue. Uh, yeah, it's very, very blue. It, um, looking at it on the screen that I can see there. Oh, can you make the sound? It makes a sound. I don't know if you can hear that. So what I'll do is I'll take this off and put the microphone near it so you can hear it. 
straight, I mean, you can probably uh, see what it looks like from that perspective. But from here, it's very blue. Very blue indeed. Mm. Um, you can even see it, like, lighting on my hands. Because yeah. on, the, on the camera, it kind oh, of... Oh, yeah, light. yeah. You can see the blue coming on there. Uh, yeah, so you can see kind of it's 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 just that neo pixel. It's the way they've got them working. Is mm. I think they're I think they're amazing. Uh, are you able to change colours? I'll see. I'll just press it another time. I think oh. it turns it off. Oh, so, yeah. So this kind of black rectangle here has like two sides. So if you hold it upright, it has like a like a ridge in between like the top and bottom part. Yeah. You press the bottom. And it does like the... It's as if you're getting shot. Yeah. Okay. So it's like... Like... Right. So, what happens if I hold down the button? I'll have a look and have a look. Ooh. Way. Oh, can you change colours? So the top, the top part of the rectangle is like... Turns it's, it's, it on. It turns it on. So if you turn it off... Press the bottom one now while it's off and keep it in. Now press the top. Oh, it's come on differently. Yeah. Turn so it off. Turn it off. Try it again. Oh, it's like it's like got a pulse to it. Mm. That's pretty impressive. So off. Blood rainbow. Whoa! So Whoa. you can definitely change colours on it because I'd like to see what it looks like in all colours. It's a shame um, with the way it's, it's transferring from uh, from sight to to screen here because uh, it's 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 a lot different. It's it's for the eyes, the neo pixel. I'm guessing. I mean, you can uh, kind of see it on my hand there. Yeah, like a rainbow effect. Mm. So yeah, uh, Lewis is going to run through just a few functions of it. Um, just had a little bit of a play around with it, just to, and, and read some of the instruction manual, just to kind of uh, get a little bit of an overview um, of kind of how the how the buttons work. Uh, I'm guessing this will be the same for the for the other lightsaber, but let's run through a few. Mm -hmm. So let's power it on. So um, that, I think see, yeah. So that top part of the rectangle there, top part powers it on. We've got a nice green color. Nice. Let me just turn this light off and see. All oh, right, okay. Ooh. Yeah, there you can see the green colour from there. The green colour's really standing out. Um, yeah, yeah, it does jump out a little right. bit more. So then you turn it upside down, and then yeah. you hold that bottom button in. Well, just to give it a little bit of a... And then you just hold it in, and then... There. So the, so you just... Yeah, you hold the bottom button like you would... Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got blue. Yeah, you've got the blue. Got that nice kind of very light blue colour. Very light blue, and then it jumps to a yellow. Yellow. Uh, the the probably jump it'll probably look a lot better in the in the red but yeah I can, I can say like visually uh yeah it, it's very very good nice purple color there yeah looks very really nice in the dark as well yeah it's really it does. light got the white uh huh blue again blue again yeah green and green blue red I mean obviously the red definitely jumps out yeah. it's one of the main things it's a lot more red uh visually from here that I'm looking at mm -hmm. um it's a lot more red yeah to to the side. All of the audio on that's very, very good. It's very crisp. It's very clear. Um, I'll put the light back on on that. Um, and is it a handheld turn off as well? See, that's legendary, man. Okay. So, uh, any other any, any other functions features on that? You can hold down both buttons at the same time, and then you can like turn the volume up and down. Okay. So, so you can turn the volume up and down on them. Um, hold it both in. It'll make that beep. One hundred percent. Oh, right, say, okay. One hundred percent. Try and keep that a bit close to the as you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So, 80%. So, when you're doing the functions as well, how do you change the, um, like to go from, like, how, how it starts up, how it starts like the. So, so then, that's the first one, I, like, after the standard. That's the first one. Ah. Then. For ignition. Right. Nice. nice, I'll turn the, the colour off though, mm -hmm. so you can get a little bit more set. Yeah, you can see how red it is on my mush, mm -hmm. you can see, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, very, very good. Uh, and there's quite a few different uh, functions on there, so with regards to that. Yeah, so you can go through quite a few ignitions, so... Nice! There's a lot of different ones. Is there any? Is there any like sounds that come out of it? So yeah, so you can turn it off, 
and then uh -huh. press the button button. And then it'll go through kind of Star Wars sound effects. So. Bring it on. Reborn. The Butcher. And obviously, like, when you go through these sound effects, it'll change the colour of the lightsaber when you next Example? ignite it. So I'll go through the next one. Temple Guard. So that one said Temple Guard, and then it'll go... Oh, Temple Guard colour came on! Yellow colour, yeah. Oh, that's just how it uh, how it fires up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, lots of different functionalities, and how how did you find kind of the initial start to actually use it? Was it a little bit tricky to find at mm -hmm. first? So it's like it's a big learning curve. You need to kind of go through all the settings I, I, I like, get individually that. and uh, yeah. find out everything that it does. So it's really fun though when you actually get to know all of the stuff, and you can kind of customize it to your your likings. So your favorite like ignition, like how loud you want it to be, and um, the color of it. So like my my color for a lightsaber I would say probably green. So I would like obviously bring it on. He'll find his he'll find the green color. So Lewis will find his green. Oh that's the that's a bad ignition. Yeah, that is a bad ignition. So you'll find it so he's cycling through, he's gonna find his ignition. There we go, there's the green. So you'll turn it off. And then I'd go through Counter ignition. So he's gonna flick through his ignitions. Until he until he kind of gets to one that he actually wants himself, mm -hmm. uh, like to find his own favorite. I like like the static one. So you flick through them. I'm gonna introduce them to this because I've got the I've got the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader one, mm -hmm. and uh, I did add the blade. Um, when I added the blade, um, it already had the 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 kind of the little screws already attached and a little screw at the back. So I just got the yeah, yeah, Alan Key, and tightened them up. So, uh, for those of you if uh, that do end up getting one, um, they do actually have them already in there, which is good. Um, again, um, just looking at it, it's the same kind of battery operated. It will screw out at the bottom, um, and it'll use the same battery port as the other one. Um, the the layout is a little different, but this uh, it's that that most of it is just for cosmetic. It's all cosmetic. Um, very very good weight on it. It's very good, like the weight. Or like throughout the blade is good. The one thing I have noticed, as I mentioned before, is that the the blades themselves seem a little thicker than the ones I've used before. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's because this is primarily used to be able to to duel with, um, which is a good good thought. Um, don't know what color it is. Let's find out. Oh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Nice. So Daddy, you start straight in. Uh, click the buttons. You get in the hall. Yeah. You're getting you're gonna be fighting, fighting. Uh, and it, like especially if you're fighting and you're thinking like you're get, you're getting shot at. You could be kind of deflecting those. Uh again, uh, it's it's a bit like what uh, what we said before, what Lewis said. You can turn it down and you can just give it a tiny I'm talking the tiniest. One of the things that um I think one of the quick things uh, one of the quick things that, that um, jumped out at me straight away was the difficulty of changing colour. Um, I, like, I was so used to having to give it like a, like I would here, to give it like a start-up. Um, to change colours, you, 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 you literally, you press the bottom button and you just, it's the tiniest little wrist flick. Nothing crazy, all the way through, and then it brings you back. But it's very, once you've got the hang of it, it's great. Mm -hmm. The same as uh, Lewis as well. If you can, if you'll be able to hear this, you can cycle through the ignitions. For ignition. So it's like another ignition. Full count ignition. Um. Blade four. And then you've got the different blades as well. So it's dependent on how you want the blade to be, depending on how you want the ignition. So this will be a lot different to the last one because I've changed a few. There we go. So it's a lot different. Um. I think they're brilliant. I think mm -hmm. the, the one of the things I like. I, I know I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. Is the weight of them? Um, because the 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 so big. If if I found a lightsaber on the floor, a real lightsaber, uh, this is kind of what I would think it would be. This mm -hmm. is what I would kind of go. Oh, you know what? This is a lightsaber, and this is how good it is. They've done a fabulous job, I must say, on both of these lightsabers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ten years on. Mm -hmm.
I'm going to change mine on to red. Hit. Blood wave. Turn it on. Good fire. Oh, yes. So say like, you know yeah. when they like clash and they like holding it like yeah. that, so. You can hear it. Listen. You can hear Lewis's. Going up and down. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, stab you in the head. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, I will put all of the, 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 the kind of the description for them, the, uh, the, the specs, the specs, specifications. Um, but overall, I mean, I think they're absolutely amazing. I think they're, they're a brilliant lightsaber. Um, loads of fun. Um, I'm definitely going to have to have a fight with Lewis with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, let us know if that's what, something that you would like to see. Um, I'll get Kate to hold the lights. I'll get Kate to hold uh, the camera, and uh, we'll have a full on, full on a duel, a full on duel, which would be brilliant. Um, yeah, we do have the display stands available as well uh, for those of you who like to collect them um, and give them a polish and leave them, leave them just sitting in their respectful places. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to thank uh, my good friends over at TX Sabers for sending this to me. If this is something that you want. They're these ones, these are currently out of stock. They will be getting some in. Hopefully, they'll be in by the time you've uh, you, this video is out. Um, I will put a link to all of them below. Also, if you put a uh, coupon code Sofa and Chill in there, you will get an additional twenty percent off. So that is not something to be arguing with. Um, yeah, have you enjoyed it? Loved it. It's thank very cool. Thank you to Lewis for coming over and uh, and wielding these with us. Mm -hmm. I've had a great time. Going to add these to our collection. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you so much for CX Sabres, and we'll see you all very, very soon.